One or more weak battery cells can and often will lead to the shutdown of a backup power system, and the resulting loss can be severe. Unless you can afford to wait for a power outage to reveal the condition of your backup system, regular testing of the batteries is essential. Annual capacity tests are recommended for any battery that has reached 85% of the expected service life or has a capacity below 90% of the manufacturer's rating. If the capacity is less than 80% of that rating, the battery should be replaced. Because full capacity tests are performed only once every one to five years, IEEE lists alternative types of tests that can be applied at shorter intervals to provide earlier indications of potential problems. The first type of test involves ohmic measurements, which can reveal trends in electrochemical characteristics that are related to battery health. Key advantages of ohmic measurements include they're quick and easy to perform, there is no need to disconnect the battery string from the charger so the operating system remains protected throughout the test. Results of the measurements can be recorded and compared with reference data to reveal trends over time. Batteries that exhibit rapid changes in ohmic parameters can be earmarked for replacement or more extensive testing. Several battery testers that perform ohmic measurements are now available on the market. In this video, we will compare four of these battery testers with the Global Energy Innovations EC Series analyzers, the EC1000 and the EC2000. The testers we will be comparing are the Megger Byte 3, the Alber Cell Quarter CRT300, the Hyoki 3554, and the Midtronic Celtron Ultra. The instruments used to measure ohmic properties of a battery can employ either DC, direct current, or AC, alternating current methods. Battery testers that use DC methods include the Albert meter. In operation, they apply a short DC pulse, voltage or current, to the battery and record the corresponding DC response, current or voltage. By Ohm's law, the ratio of the DC voltage to the DC current gives the battery's DC resistance. The DC resistance is the sum of all resistive elements in the battery, including the electrolyte, the current collectors, the bus bars, and the terminals. To ensure consistent readings, the DC pulse must be short and of small amplitude. Larger pulses can disturb the battery's state of charge, enough to cause variations in consecutive readings. In the Albert CRT manual, this effect is referred to as voltage skewing. Consequently, Albert highly recommends that the individual cell voltage measurements are taken on each cell first to eliminate the skewing effect, and then to move on to the cell resistance test. This requires longer test times and repeating testing with the possible inaccurate readings if additional testing or retesting is required shortly after the first set of tests. The Hyoki, Midtronics, Megger, and Global Energy Innovations testers all use AC excitation signals to measure ohmic characteristics of the battery. In this case, the ratio of the voltage and current amplitudes is known as the battery impedance. Like resistance, the magnitude of impedance is measured in ohms and some battery testers measure only this value. In addition, at certain frequencies there can be a phase difference, measured in degrees, between the current and voltage. Hence, unlike resistance, impedance actually consists of two parameters. Sometimes, it is convenient to quantify the impedance in terms of its real, resistive, and imaginary, capacitative and inductive components. AC methods have several advantages. Ideally, they avoid measurement variations that affect DC tests because no charge is added to or removed from the battery. In practice, however, the AC signals produced by some testers may include a DC offset. To minimize the effect of such offsets, the Midtronics Celtron Ultra Manual recommends making voltage measurements before conductance measurements. Similar to voltage skewing, as mentioned earlier, this DC offset can cause variations when performing multiple tests as is often required when retesting a cell or battery. The two components of impedance provide information not only about the battery resistance, but also about its inductance and capacitance. Battery impedance values depend on the frequency of the applied signal and analyzing this dependence provides information about both electrical and chemical properties of the battery. The Hyoki, Megger, and Midtronics meters are single frequency testers, meaning that they only test the impedance at one frequency and consequently report a single impedance value. 
These three meters use an AC frequency that is tuned to the same resistive elements as a DC pulse. As a result, they provide little or no information about the battery's chemical properties. The Global Energy Innovations EC Series analyzers probe both real and imaginary components of the battery's impedance over a range of frequencies, providing information about both the electrical and chemical properties of the battery. Global Energy Innovations cell scan technology uses algorithms to interpret multi-frequency impedance data in terms of sulfation, the irreversible formation of lead sulfate, and dry out, the loss of electrolyte. These parameters are leading indicators of degradation phenomena that determine both battery capacity and useful battery life. In contrast, a single frequency measurement of the electrical properties can provide only a lagging indicator of battery degradation. And although batteries that are in the failure zone may be correctly identified, batteries in the replacement zone will often go undetected. Hence, the EC series analyzers equipped with cell scan technology offer the operator greatly improved diagnostic capabilities over the other battery testers on the market. For example, by probing the battery's chemical properties, the operator is able to detect and diagnose faulty batteries in earlier stages of degradation, facilitating timely decisions about battery maintenance or replacement. To take full advantage of the trending procedures available with ohmic measurements, reference or baseline values are needed for comparison. When manufacturer reference values are not available, the EC series analyzers have the ability to automatically establish baseline values during the first string test. This automated self-baseline convergence algorithm feature is only available on the Global Energy Innovation Analyzers. Other analyzers require manual testing and entry to establish a valid baseline, which is often time consuming and prone to operator error. Because ohmic measurements can be highly sensitive to battery temperature, apparent differences in data sets collected at different times can be misleading. To avoid this problem, the EC series analyzers apply temperature corrections to both single point impedance and cell scan multi-frequency parameters. Data review is key when using impedance testing. In particular, it is important to monitor the trend of battery impedance over time and to ensure that all batteries in the string show consistent resistance levels from one test to another. If the impedance of a few batteries are trending upwards more rapidly than average, they are very likely to be entering the replacement zone. The EC series analyzer comes with a 3.5 inch color screen and an integrated computer which eases both the configuration of tests and the review of data. The EC series analyzer also comes with free enterprise companion software IBMS. IBMS allows the operator to create test configurations for the EC series analyzer, review test results and generate printable reports. IBMS is a fully integrated operating solution, either as a standalone application or in its enterprise mode, where a common database is shared over multiple IBMS installations. Global Energy Innovations is also releasing an Oracle cloud based database option that allows any IBMS user to sync with the cloud for automated backup and data storage. The sync feature is enabled by a single button click. Other battery testers offer software interfaces, but none rival IBMS with its easy interface and enterprise capability, all for free. You can also review our CM series, continuous monitoring systems, on our website. Global Energy Innovation's CM series system works seamlessly with the EC series, EC1000, and EC2000 handheld battery analyzer hardware and software, IBMS, Intelligent Battery Management System database. Test results may be shared between the two systems. Data from both systems is aggregated into one enterprise database for easy access. Since the EC series analyzers and the CM series cell sender continuous monitoring system modules can be configured to both report to the same database and run with the same software, inventory management, events handling, alarms, report generation, and much more are easily performed. IBMS also has a free option to sync your results to the cloud, where data can be backed up and stored using our secure Oracle cloud-based solution. 
We invite you to call your local distributor or representative for a full demonstration of the capabilities of the EC Series analyzers, the CM Series continuous monitoring systems, and discover how the EC Series testers and continuous monitoring systems will exceed your expectations. See how other organizations are implementing the Global Energy Innovations products to better support their battery needs.